Hey everybody. So today we are taking a look at this drive right here. So this is from a laptop that uh, crashed. Basically the hard drive. Uh, the message on the computer is uh, no boot device. So we connected it. Uh, we tried to boot from an external drive. Couldn't see the drive on the laptop. Booted it. Uh, took out the took out the unit. Put it on a dock. Not readable. So right now we got it on our rapid spar. So we crank that up there. And let's see what we got here. So that's our rapid spar interface for data recovery. So pulled it up and uh, looks like it's reading it there. It says the heads are 100%. So let's see what uh, what we could get out of here. Let's uh, start a project. So let's see if we could read it with, uh, with the rapid bar. So when you got a drive that is just, you know, not visible to windows, it doesn't mean that it's damaged. Uh, probably more than half of drives that have problems reading could still be recovered with software. Uh, it's only when you got uh, a hardware problem. Uh, and again, we're talking about spinning disks. So you got damage to the disk, damage to the platter, damage to the heads, the motor's not spinning, um, a stuck head, you know, all those kind of things. So let's see what we get here. So that's why we're able, most of the stuff gets recovered. Let's see what happens with this one. So it's looking pretty good. It did load a project. And here it comes up and it's giving me the, the visible partitions. Sheesh, there's a lot of partitions on here. Uh, so the this 800 gig is going to be the primary partition. So let's see if we can load that up. So what you're looking at there is all the partitions that it found. So obviously... You know, you're gonna see that small one up front. That one there is probably the, the UEFI partition. These, I don't know why, you got a 25 gig partition, a gig, 11 gigs. I don't know why you would have all those. Who knows? I mean, sometimes those partitions just could be, you know, not really there. It could just be reading them as partitions, but it could just be corruption and things like that. So what we did is, you know, we find the biggest one, the main one, which is that one there, 892 gigs. And then that's gonna take a while, it's gonna load up. And if it loads up the full tree, which in this case it should, because it's, you know, at least down here in this first scan, it's telling me the condition of the drive is fine. Um, again, you know, this is special software. We are running it in Windows, but it's the special software that's in this little gadget right there. <laughs> that still reads it. This here is gonna be the the, the 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 target drive. So whatever we can recover, we're gonna put it on there. It's upside down. So we're gonna see, that's probably gonna take a while. So I just cut and probably go back to it, but looking at that, it's probably gonna be okay. There's a couple settings that you see right there, imaging. You got skip bad, balance, and dig bads. So generally you start right in the middle, just a balance approach. The skip bad is when you got a really bad drive. So you would use that and just kind of run through and grab, you know, whatever is quickly available. And then the dig bads would be, you know, to follow up. And that's really gonna, you know, try to reread the hard to read sections. But with a bad drive, you don't want to do that because you could wind up killing the drive on, on those, you know, hitting all those sections and then missing out on, you know, most of the stuff. When you got a bad drive, you want to go through, skip everything that's bad, you know, don't retry them, just grab whatever you can, and then afterwards, once you get all that, then go back and try to, you know, get some more data. Yeah. All right, so here we are, finished the, uh, it finished that scan on that partition, so now that partition is green. And this is what it found. You got that uh, that folder, and then a loss folder. So the loss is just stuff that it kind of puts together, that it doesn't know what it is, doesn't have names or anything. That's probably all, actually those are all blank. 
So we're just gonna concentrate straight up on here. So if we look there, we're gonna see all the folders. Let's take a look and see if they're gonna make any sense. If we go to the user folder, and see what we get there. Just to take a peek at, uh, whoa. All right, so yeah, nothing on the desktop. We got some stuff there. Picture folder, nothing in pictures. Uh, well, all right, so we're gonna run through some of these and I'm just gonna jump back over here. Basically what we'll do here is just select all these and then run a, uh, back up all these personal folders. And we'll see how that goes. All right, so we're running some of that recovery you can see there. So we ran this, you know, skipping files were there, so you can see there, skip four files, seven unread sectors. So it's just gonna run through anything that's bad, or skip it and just gather whatever is good. And then after we could kind of rerun after that. Looks like we got about 29 gigs and that's in the selected folders, right? So in the user folders, there's a desktop documents, there's a miscellaneous folders, a miscellaneous folder in the root, which we picked out as well. So, no pictures, looks like it's more data, unless sometimes, well, unless it's in the desktop folder, who knows? So that's gonna run, that's gonna take a while. You got 17,000 files, let's run through 2,000. You can see sometimes it'll get stuck. I don't know if those are big files or if it's just stuck. And then it'll just start going again. All right, we'll keep that, leave that running and see, uh, see how this turns out. Hey guys, a little update on this backup. This is uh, like 12 hours later, it's still running. As you can see, it's run uh, through 15,000 files out of 17,000. So I guess it's, I don't know, 80%, something like that. You see there the skip count, 642 unread sectors. So those sectors have problems, so they just get skipped. So you can see that this takes a really long time. Sometimes we tell a customer it might take two, three days or what have you. And they're like, how can that take two or three days? So you can see this one's been running for 12 hours. That's not always the case. And, and frankly, exactly. So this one here, it's not because of the amount of data. Because if you look there, we're really processing 30 gigs. So if you've got a terabyte, you know, and you're running, I don't know, 500, 600 gigs, no matter what the condition, it's going to take a long time. But this one here, just 30 gigs, but those files are having trouble uh, being read. Or it could be that, you know, that the drive itself it's not responding properly, so it's you know responding slower uh, than normal, etc. I mean something like that. So 12 hours later, it's still going. So we'll see how that turns out. Hey everybody, so here I'm going to go over the final results of the recovery. Not a great recovery, not a good recovery, I would say. Uh, a lot of stuff just not readable. So once we get done with that recovery, this is uh, the report that we're gonna, that's gonna be generated. Uh, and this is uh, basically the result up there. We got integral, which is uh, readable files, 15,000. Corrupt, 235. But unprocessed, you know, 2,100. Unprocessed means not read at all. Uh, so remember, we're using the uh, you know, skip bad files. So a lot of those that were just getting stuck uh, completely just could not read and they just get skipped over. It's possible that if there's an important file there, you know, it could be, uh, you know, used with dig bads and try to get one uh, readable, but the chances I think in this case are going to be real slim. So this report is it's pretty cool how it comes out. So it's an HTML file and it's as if it opens up in a browser. So let's take a look at, uh, yeah, let's, so 
it's, it's like the whole file structure and everything with names and, and the whole bit. Um, the data is not here, but it gives you the report. So you see right there, let's, as an example, right? So that temp one folder, whatever that is, uh, you got that, right? So those two, that executable NFO. So it'll give you an integral over in the side. I mean, that's readable. Let's go to, um, I mean, this is, I wanna go to anything. Okay, this is a good, good one here. So this folder here, abstract, background, vector, whatever. So see how this one here, you got one integral for corrupt. So, you know, it's a mixed bag. Uh, and you got stuff like this. These here, no status means these were skipped. Those are part of that, you know, 2000. Those are just all skipped, not readable at all. So, I mean, it's a possibility that some of those could be dug out. Let's go to one where we get, yeah, same here. These are all videos, those status, you know, not processed. Let's go to one that's a little better. Uh, here's a document folder, right? So on that document folder, yeah, all those are readable. Uh, some music files, let's see. Yeah, so here's like a music folder, Angel of Attack. Right, so that music folder there, you got one MP3 corrupt, and then after that there's MP3s, JPEGs. There's another corrupt one there. So not too bad, those are MP3s. You know, this is, I think like, you know, custom music stuff. Uh, yeah, demo tracks that the person has. You know, it's readable. So really depending on what is important here really is gonna wind up being, you know, the result. If there's some really customized, uh, you know, tracks that are very important that they could be, re that are recovered, then, then yeah, it's great. So de demo tracks, I think I just did that. Uh, I don't know, let's jump to there's some picture folders that came out as well. Let's see, yeah, there's a OneDrive there. So here, all these JPEGs, not processed. Uh, but then here's a whole picture folder there. Uh, there's a whole picture folder there, and all those are good. Well, two there that are not. You got another section there, those are all good. good mixed bag so you get the idea but i just wanted to show you this this final result and this is what you know we would send to the to the customer that way they can take a look take their time you know see what is going to be on it and then they either you know they can accept it if it's uh, good to go this folder here was important to him but this whole thing was skipped and i had this running way past days <laughs> days running straight and it would just get stuck on files so that's what we got for that recovery and that's what's going on tonight at pc91